Reading the Einstein book again, I'm on page 120. Yet he still did not know what gravity was. He still did not know the characteristics of the gravitational field in the way that one could know the characteristics of the electromagnetic field by referring to Maxwell's equations. Only two things seemed clear. One was that gravity did not operate as Newton had said it operated. The second was that it had become, quote, perfectly plain that a reasonable theory of gravitation can only be obtained by an extension of the principle of relativity, meaning he wanted to use special relativity to explain gravitation. End quote. You know, I missed that, sorry. Just as special relativity could produce an accurate account of events in a frame of reference which was moving uniformly in relation to the observer, so could a more general version of the theory do the same thing when the frame of reference was moving at accelerating speeds, and then the theory should automatically be able to describe motion in a gravitational field as well. A few things about this paragraph stick out to me. Of course, I'm a stickler for how people use words and what kind of context they use them in and the kind of meaning those words have because you can get a lot by examining what people say and how they say it and whatnot. So what happened here is that it's a clear admission that Einstein never knew what gravity was. He never knew what caused it at all. That basically destroys this entire book when it comes to general relativity. The entire thing crumbles with that one sentence. Yet he still not, did not know what gravity was. So he didn't know what gravity was, yet he tried to use a theory that he invented to explain it. He never made a discovery of what the causes of gravitation were. He tried to take a theory he invented and then twist it to make it try to explain something he still didn't understand. And another set of words that sticks out to me by reading this perfectly plain that a reasonable theory of gravitation could only be obtained by an extension of the principle of special relativity only be obtained that kind of absolute type thinking where this is the only way of doing things you know the that you know lateral type mathematical this is the only way of doing things step by step by step by step and you can't miss any step you have to go logically through this progression of events the actual reality is that you can go horizontal you can go diagonal you can go this way that way that way to say gravitation can only be understood inside of a theory that you invented is the epitome of egotistical slash arrogant type thinking that's it it's like me saying well i developing was developing a theory of star evolution and now i can only explain gravitation in terms of the theory i developed it doesn't make any sense this is a physical theory of matter but gravitation I don't I don't think so. And I think he really just went off the deep end when he assumed that only his theory could explain gravitation. And you know, being that he had a lot of uh how can I say it, clout or fame or whatever, everybody was hanging on to his last words. Everything that he said back in the day, he was a super genius, so and here we are taking a over you know inflated ego of this person and then thinking that everything that he was saying was gold but not all that glitters is gold today is october 1st 2015